We really need your help. There's a song and it goes Like the end didn't I didn't do the end right, but what the heck is that song? If you watched our last video at the New River Gorge, you may have seen Cheap and the funeral that we had for Cheap. We've now replaced Cheap with Mr. Longarm, and he's a long boy. This is like bigger than my head. Great wall that way. So if you're a climber that's looking for some really good like 5.8s through 5.10s, the Great Wall is a great place to come because it has 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.10s, and then it gets up into the 11. So there's just a lot of good variety. So I want this to be the day that's noted that I have a goal to climb every 510A in the Red River Gorge. By my count, I might have to go recount, but there's 95 of them that are listed in Mountain Project. And I have just done 12 so far. So I'll keep you updated on that goal, but one of my favorite climbers, Alex Johnson, had a goal to climb 100 V10s, and you know, I can't do that. So we're gonna go 510A. The Great Wall had two 510s that we played around on, Dynabolt Gold and Bitter Ray of Sunshine. Both routes were fairly straightforward and a lot of fun. Then I went over to the right side of the wall for a beginner climb called La Escalada. It's probably the easiest route I have ever climbed at the Red. So right now I'm at the top of the 5-6 on the right side of the Great Wall. And it's so pretty up here. A true beginner route, this 5-6 climb goes up and towards the right with what seems to be so many bolts that even if you do fall, I don't think it would be more than a couple of inches. Okay. Guys found. Is this a stick of pillar? A stick of pillar. Oh my gosh. Like... Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's so cute. He literally looks like a stick. Yes, he is. What the heck? Hi, buddy. John decided that he wanted to try Edge of Sketch and he sent it clean. April also tried the climb and it absolutely killed the technical start. Talk to me about Edge of Sketch. This was the best climb I've ever done. Ever done in ever your life? Done. I just got off of Edge of Sketch, which is a 511A, and I think that's the hardest thing that I've ever done outdoors. I did top rope it, and I hang dogged it basically the whole way up. But a super fun route. The start is very like technical and balancey, and there's a critical series of pinches and crimps that I seem to miss. And then once you get past those first couple clips, it's Really nice climbing as long as you're not too pumped out. Um, nice crimps and jugs and things. And then once you get up towards the top, it's pretty juggy, like the last three clips. So overall, I would say that John's assessment of it being like the best route, yeah. It, if you get the chance to come to the Great Wall and you want a good 511A, I would definitely recommend Etch a Sketch. Edge a Sketch, Edge a Sketch. So one thing that I want to point out is that if you're a newer climber to the outdoors, you might not realize that like the combination of everyone's voices together can get to be really noisy. So something that this particular trip to the crag today has reminded me of is to try to lower your voice when you're just having conversations on the side at outdoor crags, especially when it's really busy because it can get really hard to hear your belayer if you're climbing or your climber if you're belaying and it can get to be a safety issue if you can't you know communicate effectively so just try to be cognizant of that and I'm not perfect um you know it's it's the crag you're trying to have fun and you know chill and have good conversations with your friends but obviously safety is the number one thing when you're climbing so just if you're climbing outside um try to be aware of how loud you're talking especially if the crag is busy that's 
my pro tip of the day, I guess. Moving on, we went to check out the Great Arch. Walking up to the Great Arch was pretty awe-inspiring, and it was nice because there wasn't a lot of other people around, and it felt peaceful. Dynamite is the best 5'9 I've ever climbed in my life. It's 85 feet, so it's pretty tall for a route at the red, and it's a jug fest the whole way up. It's a great route to take some practice falls on too, because there's open air underneath you with no ledges for you to fall on. The view at the top is pretty great. The Great Arch also had another 510A called Black Powder, which we checked off. Look at this spider. I'm scared, but this is how big it is compared to my hand. Look at that. Ah, what's this one named, Jed? Um, a giant terror bug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The last one he named Sam. This one. Something that, as a new climber, that you might like struggle with is getting your knot done, undone after you take a really big fall. So this is a really tight knot, right? So you undo this and like it's too tight to get undone right so the number number one is you want to bend it back and forth so you just take the knot and you just like bend it back and forth like that and then say you can't get it undone still just kind of wiggle it so that you can get a carabiner let's see where are we and then pull on it to where it loosens up. And you can get on done. Hopefully. If you're looking for a spot to dodge the rain while climbing at the red, the Great Arch is, well, it's an arch. So it's a very overhung and it might be a good spot to try. With a full day of climbing in, we headed back to camp, but not before hanging out the Mere Valley parking lot for a while with Sydney, one of the climbers we'd met at the crag that day. Sid is moving to Denver, so if you live in Denver, hit her up at Sydney underscore Morrison on Instagram. Cool. There you go. Oh, and for anyone wondering what song we were trying to come up with at the beginning, we finally figured it out. It was called The Funk by Daft Punk. Gosh, today is a good day. Do you like these videos about the Red River Gorge? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and stay hyped.